Hi everyone. We have learned how to use Jinja 2 template and uh, with a demo in the last video. So this is something more advanced like we will learn how to use loops and conditions in Jinja 2 templates. So we are going to use the same playbook and same directory uh, which we have used last time. So inside we have a playbook which we have only one task where it will deploy uh, etc motd on the target machine using a template called motd.j2 and we have this motd.j2 where we have some text and some variable it will be replaced automatically by ansible when we call the template module so we have the system admin and we already learned this uh, if we don't uh, define this variable uh, it will throw error but you have some option to that that will we will learn uh, right now so if you miss uh, any of the uh, videos please see the youtube playlist and also see this repository for the reference playbooks so as a start uh, we are going to add uh, some options here so uh, let's say i want to uh, add one more information called um uh, okay i just added motd so I want to add something here, um, phone. I want to add a phone number in the MOTD. So I put like phone, then I want to replace system underscore admin underscore phone. Okay, now we have one more variable inside the Jinja two templates. And what will happen if I uh, execute the playbook? So Ansible playbook, set.yaml, of course it will throw error because the system admin phone is not defined. We have some cases, maybe some of the variable is not defined or is not applicable for some systems and it will throw error. So you can use something like if variable define those conditions, but in Jinja 2, we have an option called kind of a filtering and we can use some default value if it's not defined. So what we are going to do here in cytoryml, we don't have this uh, phone number defined. So what I'm going to do, so I put vim motd, then here, I will use something like uh, default then I have to tell what is the default value so inside this I put like a default value is 18 maybe I put 18001112222 okay this is just for example so this is the value so if the admin phone is not defined this variable is not defined I want to use this value let's try now so we are executing the same playbook so no error this time so it's already executed so we will try here uh, actually i don't need to exit i just want to show that only so here see uh, it was not defined so it used default value from the template okay one double zero something like that what if i define oh, no sorry 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 what if i define this variable so here i am using like system underscore admin underscore phone so i use some value like one eight double zero 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 then zero 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 this for example so if if we define it should use this value if it's not defined it will use the default value we try now and we go and check cats etc motd see it's using the value which we have used inside the playbook very simple so this is the default value thing now we will try something more in deep let's say i want to uh, list some some loops like let's say i have a lot of variables and i want to use this variable inside the jinja 2 templates what i am going to do inside site.yml okay we are going to comment this we want to use the default value so you will learn that so we have another same type so we are going to use another template here so i will use uh, deploy okay maybe we use user list i put like a slash term we don't want to put it anywhere user underscore list so uh, here I use user underscore list dot j2 I don't know this and we have to create so we have this uh, task to deploy some file in slash term user list which we are going to use a loop okay 
we didn't define this uh, template or user list we are going to try this so first thing so we have to use something like uh, vim user underscore list dot j2 so this is uh, this is to identify this as Jinja2 template here i am using some okay this is the user list deployed from ansible okay simple so this is my template i just want to deploy this then here i am i have to insert the list so i put them like okay this is end of user list that's it so i just create a template so it's not mandatory that you have to put the line and this kind of text but i just want to show now i am going to i'm going through a uh, list so here what i have to do um, i have to add some comments okay i put like comments so for the comments you can still uh, add this comment then i put like a for statement so this is a comment so what i have to do i put for user is just a variable like we use for i in one two three like that for user in then the variable name so the variable name is users okay and uh close this but you have to insert a percentage sign here okay it says this is a loop or kind of a conditional statement now i have to tell okay what is the uh, uh, result so if I, I i want to give a space you give the space let's say i want to give a uh, item here so i can put item like a list or number so here i am not going to give anything so i give okay what i have to print is user so this is the user and we are going through the loop users okay i print user then we have to end the loop so how to end it and for hope this is clear so this is a comment not required and just printing just to show you that how it work then this is the loop where we use a for loop where user in the users so this users we have to define somewhere then it will print the user variable and we end the loop that's it okay now we print the we have uh, we have to declare the user so site.yaml here i am going to declare the users users i put like john maybe lisa maybe raj maybe vinod one more okay so i have a user list so we'll try this playbook and table playbook side or yaml we'll see if any error or not good no issues so we will go and check uh, the location so it says it will deploy in slash term user underscore list we will go to any nodes because we are deploying to both nodes cat it is sorry term slash nice or what so it's just printing the user good right so this is a loop you can have more options here like um, conditions like if conditions or when conditions like that you can use that let's say i want to add some number here one two three four how we are going to use that so what you have to do is uh here go to emote sorry not emote three our template is user list then i want to print the number here so i put um loop so this is the default uh default variable inside that then loop dot um index sorry loop dot index we don't need to define anywhere then i want to print a column here then the username okay so loop dot index is by default inside the for loop it will be the maybe we can remove this spacing and uh, user okay we try now good no issues okay good so we have the number so we didn't define but based on the user list it will automatically 
um, uh, give you the loop dot index which is the number okay so we have five items already deployed so this is how you can use the uh, loop inside Jinja 2 so you know how to use the loop and yeah the conditions you can refer the uh, documentations and try uh, in using some templates or playbook okay and hope uh, this is enough for this uh, Jinja 2 uh, if you are going advanced level of course you have more and more options in Jinja 2 you can learn that uh, for this video that's it uh, please uh, see the full list of videos here uh, in case you missed any of the videos so just see the youtube playlist and watch all the videos then only you will um, understand the concepts and uh, the, it is it's very recommended to do this practical so we have um, videos for preparing the lab here how to prepare the lab using a manual way or using the vagrant way yeah anything so practice it and uh, that's all for this video see you next time with another video thank you